Today, we celebrate the 50th founding anniversary of UP Tacloban as well as its elevation as an autonomous unit of the University of the Philippines system. Everyone, let us all welcome the UP Tacloban alumni led by the pioneering batches of 1973 and 1974. The faculty, staff, and students of the Division of Humanities. Students of the Division of Social Sciences. of the Division of Natural Sciences and Mathematics.
and students of the Division of Management. <laughs> And finally, the administrative, research, and extension personnel of UP Tacloban.
Again, that was UP and Balangao. Damo nga salamat to our performers, composer, musician, Samlito Abueva, singers and dancers, Pierre Dan Ampo, Gabrielo Jose Asanza, Mark Joseph Daduya, Joanna Marie Ladesla, Melanie Ladica, Rosary Jasmine Padilla, Ivan Ray Pontoy, Danica Ibanez, Elizabeth Zamora, student trainees Irene Nicole Madera and Jamie Lori Saludares, and the founder, artistic director, choreographer, and trainer, Professor Joycey Dorado Alegre.
To formally welcome us to this afternoon's program is the Dean of the University of the Philippines, Tacloban College, Dean Patricia Arinto. Mopay nga adlaw, hay yung atanan. Nga malipayon nga pagsaurog han ika-50 ang anibersaryo han UP Tacloban. <laughs> UP President Angelo Jimenez, Faculty Regent Carl Mark Ramota, Student Regent Sigrid Severino, Staff Regent Victoria Canape Beligal, UP Executive Vice President Jose Fernando Alcantara, Vice President for Planning and Finance, Irene Balmores. Vice President for Administration, Nestor Yunque. Vice President for Public Affairs, Jose Wendel Capili. Vice President for Legal Affairs, Abraham Ray Acosta. UP Diliman Chancellor, Edgardo Carlo Vistan. UP Los Baños Chancellor, Jose Camacho Jr. UP Visayas Chancellor, Clement Camposano, UP Open University Chancellor, Melinda Bandelaria, UP Baguio Chancellor, Corazon Abansi, UP Cebu Chancellor, Leo Malagar, former UP Visayas Chancellor, Professor Ricardo Bobaran, the Assistant Vice Presidents for Public Affairs and Student Affairs, the Assistant Vice Chancellors of UP Visayas, UP Los Baños, and UP Cebu, the deans of UP Visayas, the UP Open University, and UP Cebu, the former deans of UP Tacloban College, Professor Emeritus Grace Javier Alfonso, Professor Emeritus Merli Alunan, Professor Emeritus Josefino Chino Toledo, Professor Victorio N. Sugbu. The directors of various offices of the UP System and UP Visayas. And the UP System legal counsels who are present. The presidents of our sister univer state universities in Eastern Visayas. Members of the Sangguniang Panlalawigan Han Leyte. Members of the Judiciary in Region 8. Officials of the regional offices of the national government agencies. Officials of the various departments of Leyte Province. Officials of the Tacloban City Government. UP Tacloban alumni led by the officers and members of the pioneering batches of 1973 and 1974. Retired members of UP Tacloban's faculty and staff. UP Tacloban faculty, staff, and students, friends and allies of UP Tacloban. Mga kasangkayan, damo nga salamat for being here today to join us in celebrating the 50th founding anniversary of UP Tacloban College as a regional unit of the University of the Philippines, our national university. On this happy occasion, we look back with gratitude to the hard work of all who have made possible our 50 fruitful years as an institution of higher learning with the mandate to build capacities and engage communities for the sustainable development of Eastern Visayas. We remember with deep appreciation our founding fathers and mothers the provincial government of Leyte in the early 1970s, led by Governor Benjamin Cocoy Romualdez, who petitioned the UP administration at the time for the establishment of a UP unit in Tacloban City to serve the people of Eastern Visayas. UP President Salvador P. Lopez and the members of the UP Board of Regents who approved the establishment of UP Tacloban in 1973 after three years of careful study of the proposal. The UP alumni in Eastern Visayas at the time who formally expressed their support for the proposal 
and the new UP unit. The pioneer faculty and staff represented here today by botany professor, Professor Patrocinio de los Reyes. The 141 pioneering students who enrolled in the college's first three programs. Some of them are here with us today, led by Mr. Joey Clarin of Batch 74, my husband, Mr. Ferdinand Garrido of Batch 73, and Judge Ateniones Bacali of Batch 78. We also remember with much appreciation and respect those who were part of UP Tacloban's faculty, staff, and student body in the 1980s when the college was just a fledgling institution amidst political upheavals and other challenges both within the university and without. The college was only 13 years old in 1986 when it was placed under the then newly constituted UP in the Visayas as part of the reorganization of UP into a university system composed of four, at the time, constituent universities. UP Tacloban's officials, faculty, and staff adapted to the change, rose up to the new challenges, and met new expectations with grace from the mid-1980s through to the 1990s, the 2000s, and the 2010s. At this point, I would like to especially thank our former deans of UP Tacloban who are here with us today. Dean Marieta Sumagaysay, who led the college from 2000 to 2006. <laughs> Dean Virgildo Sabalo, who led the UP Tacloban from 2006 to 2009, and again in 2016 to 2019. Dean Margarita de la Cruz, who led the college from 2009 to 2012. And Dean Anita Kular, who led the college from 2012 to 2016. We also thank the former deans of UP Tacloban, who could not join us today for one reason or another. Dean Benjamin Katane, who served for a decade from 1975 to 1986. Dean Albino Lumen, who was the dean from 1986 to 1988. Dean Antonio Abilar, who served from 1988 to 1991. Dean Zosimo Lee, who was the dean from 1991 to 1994. And Dean Viola Chozon, who served from 1994 to 2000. We salute all of them for their courage and fortitude their leadership, the programs they started, which are the predecessors of today's programs and new initiatives. I would also like to thank in a special way our colleagues from UP Visayas who worked with us and supported us these past 37 years as, a, as one of the five constituent colleges of UPV. They are represented here today by two chancellors the incumbent chancellor, Chancellor Clement Campusano, former chancellor, Professor Rick Babaran, vice, three vice chancellors, vice chancellor for administration, John Lawrence Bellanio, vice chancellor for research and extension, uh, Harold Monteclaro, vice chancellor for planning and development, Rodelia Ibabao, uh, the College of Arts and Sciences Dean, Dr. Alice Ferrer. Uh, the College of Management Dean, Christopher Honorario. And uh, the Office of Initiatives for Culture and the Arts Director and University Artist, Martin Henodepa, who was also Vice Chancellor for uh, Planning. As many of you know, if not everyone, we are celebrating today not only our establishment as a college 50 years ago, but also our elevation as an autonomous unit directly under the office of the UP president. <laughs> Autonomy is a way for UP Tacloban 
to more fully situate itself in the political, economic, and social realities of the Eastern Visayas region and respond to the imperative for growth by, among others, expanding its courses and programs to promote access and equity and by pursuing more strategic research and public service programs in areas critical to the development of the region. Autonomy for UP Tacloban is a necessary condition for the college as well as for UP as a whole to fulfill its mandate as the national university. It is fitting that we are toasting this singular moment in our history as an institution here in front of the old Leyte provincial capital where the idea for a UP unit in Eastern Visayas was conceived and where the marker of our inauguration on July 2, 1973 is engraved behind this stage. That we are here today is not a historical accident or just a fortuitous event. It is not mere happenstance or coincidence, but rather grace and the logical outcome of the college's collective efforts to fulfill its mission. More importantly, it is a pledge and a promise to continue serving our people with honor and excellence, to push UP Tacloban to greater heights, and to do UP, our region, and the country proud. To the faculty, staff, and students of UP Tacloban today, thank you very much, and padayon. And to all of you, our friends and allies, thank you, and may you never tire of walking with and working with us for the good of all of our people. Damo nga salamat. Thank you, Dean Arinto. At this point, let us listen to felicitations from the president of Anmanga Tominongnong, the organization of UP Tacloban's pioneering batches of 1973 and 1974, Mr. Jose My, my fellow alumni, UP alumni, the honored guests from the UP system, our local government officials, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. First of all, I would like to congratulate my alma mater, UP Tacloban, on its elevation as an autonomous unit of the UP system just last month, April 23, 2023. It is a recognition of UP Tacloban's outstanding accomplishments for the last 50 years of its existence. Congratulations also to Dean Pat Arento and the previous deans for your able leadership and stewardship of UP Tacloban. Five decades ago, we, the pioneers of UP Tacloban, were young, energetic, idealistic high school graduates, the cream of the crop of high school graduates, who merged at UP Tacloban with the hope of getting the best education we can have. We were not disappointed. UP Tacloban gave us the best mentors of Region 8. We had Professor Albino Lomen, who taught on mathematics, Dr. Rosa Esther Cuna, who taught on humanities, Dr. Desi Soledad, 
who taught on sociology and psychology, Dr. Corazon Mahi on English, Professor Domingo Matillo on natural science, Professor Cesario Torres on political science, Dean Benjamin Catani on economics, and Professor Patrocinio de los Reyes on biological science. See, sir, these were the UP mentors who prepared us to be better, to a better future. The pioneers in later years became lawyers, doctors, successful businessmen and women. Some became officials in the government and private institutions. Some became professors in the UP system. Some became local government officials. We, the pioneers, succeeded in our respective field of expertise, as all of these were attributed to the best education we got from Lupita Cloban. It is worthy to mention the grant and aid program provided by Lupita Cloban to the poorest of the four of UP students. We, the students, became professionals and lived successful lives because of this program. It made a difference to us, the UP students. The indelible mark of UP Tacloban is prominent in every institution in Region 8. Indeed, UP Tacloban is, a, is an indispensable academic institution in Region 8. It is a repository of knowledge for college students in this part of the region. UP Tacloban is a training ground for future leaders of Region 8. I am proud to say that I was once the regional head of Pag-ibig Fan Region 8. And my wife, Evelyn, was once the regional head of the PMS, the Presidential Management Staff. It is because we are the pioneers of UP Tacloban and alumni of UP Tacloban. Mabuhay ang UP Tacloban. Mabuhay ang mga tuminuno. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Clarín. And now, please join me in welcoming the University of the Philippines President, Angelo Jimenez. I will adopt the acknowledgement of our VIPs, friends, students, faculty, guests, local government officials, brothers and sisters, SUC in the Eastern Visayas. It was quite a long, distinguished list, but I don't want to take up much of your time. I know that you will be excited for the next part of the program, so I would just adopt it, if you don't mind, Dean Pat. Maupay nga kulok, ha iyo nga tanan, a pleasant afternoon. Yeah, it's still afternoon to all of you. From the entire UP system community, our warmest congratulations to the faculty, students, staff, officials, alumni, and community partners and friends of UP. College Tacloban. We are here today to celebrate two very important, happy, festive, memorable occasions, historic occasion. The first is the 50th anniversary of the UP College Tacloban, half a century of molding minds that mold the nation. And second, <laughs> if not equally more important and substantial milestone, the elevation of UP College Tacloban as UP's newest constituent unit following that watershed decision of the Board of Reading just a few days ago. UP Tacloban, congratulations. It was not 
that easy to win you this autonomy and I hope that you will treasure it and fight for it so that the idea that push it forward can be well vindicated in your mission. There are people here today, members of the board, who saw how we fought for that particular autonomy. And our strongest interrogators were also our strongest supporters. There was no objection. And that, I think, is good omen for our youngest autonomous member of the UP system community. Congratulations, uh, Dean Pat Arinto. The dynamo behind that movement. And of course, all of you here, the UP Tacloban College community. Perhaps it is just fitting that for this celebratory mood, we will have the UP Symphony Orchestra perform here tonight, headed by Maestro Chino Toledo. They will give us today the magic of their music. And I will tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that the UP Symphony Orchestra is simply the best or symphony orchestra in the country today. And that we bring them to you here in Tacloban and Eastern Visayas. You know, I remember the images emerging back in 2013, every time I think of the Tacloban. I remember images of devastation wrought by super typhoon Yolanda on your city and on your campus. And that of the School of Health Sciences in Palo Leite. The photos include toppled trees, torn roofs, walls, collapsed signs, and fences. And rising above the wreckage, strong and resilient in the face of one of the most powerful tropical cyclone that ever hit the world was the oblation. I remember the photo of Jupiter Global's oblation because it made me recall a similar image, this time of the UP oblation in Manila campus at the height of World War II, standing defiantly amidst the charred bullet-ridden rubble and bump-out buildings of one of the most devastated cities on that last great war. Those particular images of the oblation are doubly weighted with symbolism. They represent UP's determination, unwavering vision, and courageous commitment to serving our people no matter the circumstances. Rising from setbacks and challenges and moving forward stronger than ever. The same can be said of UP Tacloban as a whole. It began as a proposal by the provincial government of Leyte to the Board of Regents to establish a branch of the University of the Philippines in this city. The Board of Regents approved that on May 23, 19. 73, and we saw the first batch just pass by just a few minutes ago. The UP College Tacloban, as it was known then, was to provide quality education in the Eastern Visayas region and turn out graduates who would be productive and responsible members of the community to undertake and promote scientific research to help address problems and enhance regional development and to offer technical assistance to government, business, and the public towards the further improvement of the quality of life in the region and of the nation as well. Specifically, UP Tacloban was envisioned to provide professional leadership in the region, produce humanist 
and development-oriented professionals act as a catalyst of change, contribute to the overall national efforts to remedy the imbalance in the distribution of wealth and resources and enhance individual and group participation in an overall national effort for progress and development. Over the past 50 years, you have grown in strength, breadth, and reach regarding your academic programs, enrollment, and faculty and staff profile. To recall, from its 141 students enrolled in three degree programs back in 1973-74, UP Tacloban has now over 1,500 students and we want it to increase some more. In its nine undergraduate programs and two graduate programs in academic year 2022-2023. And that includes 48 student organizations as well. In 1983, when the UP President Edgardo Angara integrated and reorganized UP Luilo, UP Cebu College, UP Tacloban College, and the College of Fisheries into the UP in the Visayas, the UP Tacloban College had 63 full-time faculty members and 94 non-teaching staff. Now, UP Tacloban College has 80 full-time faculty members, and more are coming, including one professor emeritus. Aside from the four academic divisions it has now, the divisions of humanities, management, natural sciences, and mathematics, and social sciences, the UP Tacloban College is also home to three, three research and public service offices, the Leyte Samar Heritage Center, the Regional Environment Information Systems, and the Office of Continuing Education and Pahinungod. Your research and innovation initiatives have wide-ranging impacts on biodiversity and environmental protection, cultural heritage preservation, and socioeconomic development, not just within the region of Eastern Visayas, but across the nation as well. These initiatives have earned UP Tacloban College recognition, not just in the country, but as internationally as well, and continue to draw more partnerships and collaborations from international organizations and higher education institutions. And your public service programs have been invaluable resources and support for professional development for teachers, capacity development and technical support for disaster risk assessment and community planning for LGUs and communities, for mental health and psycho psychosocial services for members of your own college community and the general public. And these have been particularly critical during the height of the pandemic and for artistic and cultural development. You have consistently nurtured UP's principles of honor, excellence, and compassionate service in Eastern Visayas. This region continues to push towards growth and development despite its many challenges, including poverty, widespread poverty in the region, less than optimal use of its rich resources and biodiversity, and its vulnerability to natural disasters and climate change. I believe that your elevation to a UP autonomous unit will grant you greater capacity and flexibility in responding to the unique development, developmental and educational needs of Eastern Visayas, and in the end, contribute to the region's sustainable development even more. I also believe that UP Tacloban College's elevation to an autonomous unit 
and in due time, a constituent university under the UP system is well in keeping with our vision of UP at the forefront of transformative scientific, cultural, and artistic pedagogy, research, and public service in the global and especially in our local and regional communities. We in UP must think globally, but must necessarily act locally. We rightfully aspire to be an international university that asks the consequential, the big questions of our time. And we must do so by working locally and striving to address the serious issues confronting our communities, our regions, our country, and the world. We must move towards the 21st century education by building bridges towards digital technology. And I'm hopeful that UB Tacloban College's eight-point action plan, as elucidated by Dean Arinto to the Board of Regents, embraces this move by UP to the fullest. We have high expectations for your unit. Finally, we must think globally and act locally by ensuring that our campuses are spaces that nurture and showcase the unique history, traditions, cultures, and artistic expressions of the communities and region we represent. UP Tacloban College has taken a huge firm step in the direction of this vision. And I pledge to you the full support of our administration in all your endeavors, no exceptions, for the next six years, or at least for as long as I'm president. And I join you and the rest of the community in looking forward to your college's next 50 years with anticipation, hope, even excitement facing the changes and the complexity of life in the 21st century. And ready to say, as Oblation did in the late 2013, right here in the Cloban, Challenge accepted. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations, UP Tacloban. And many people will well remember this simple ceremony in the years to come. And I hope that in the struggle to become a full constituent university, you can include in your efforts and in your prayers, the aspirations of the people in your region. And may your artists speak the idiom of their age. And lend poetry to their dreams. I am asked to introduce to you a very special person. I told you the dynamo of your college. I felt morally obliged to fight for you, including with our regents here, because of the powerful, towering presence of this personage. I have known her a long time ago. As a matter of fact, I met her in Tacloban in 87, when we were both student leaders. So I will introduce her to you, if you don't mind me, Pat by recalling just a few shared words of poetry. <laughs> Come, my friends, tis not too late to seek a newer world. Push off and sitting well in order, smite the sounding furrows, for my purpose holds to sail behind the sunsets and the bats of all the western stars until I die. Maybe, it may be that the gulfs will wash us down. It may be that we shall 
touch the Happy Isles and make and see the great Achilles whom we knew. And though much is taken, much abides. And though we are not now the strength which in the old days moved earth and heaven, that which we are, we are. One equal temper of heroic hearts made weak by time and fate, but strong in will to strive, to seek, to find. You be Tacloban and not to yield! <laughs> Dean Patricia Arinto. Thank you, President Jimenez. At this point, Dean Arinto will take her oath as Dean of the University of the Philippines Tacloban College. Dean Arinto, you have, uh, please repeat after me. I, I Stephen, Patricia Brazil Arinto, having appoint, been appointed to the position of, having been appointed to the position of Dean, do hereby solemnly swear. Do hereby solemnly swear that I will well and faithfully discharge. That I will well and faithfully discharge to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. The duties of my present position. The duties of my present position. And of all others I may hereafter hold. And of all others I may hereafter hold. Under the Republic of the Philippines. Under the Republic of the Philippines. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the Philippines. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the Philippines. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will obey the laws. That I will obey the laws. Legal orders and decrees. Legal orders and decrees. Promulgated by the duly constituted authorities of the Republic of the Philippines. Promulgated by the duly constituted authorities of the Republic of the Philippines. And I will pose and this obligation upon myself. And I impose this obligation upon myself. Voluntarily. Voluntarily. Without mental reservation. Without mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Pat. May we now request everyone to stand for the singing of Yupi Naming Mahal. <laughs> 